Hey guys, it's Jeff from Pressure Luck. Now, who says you have to wait until the summertime to sink your teeth into juicy, succulent, flavorful shrimp? Well, I mean, I guess you can go to the Red Lobster whenever you want to, but yeah, endless shrimp isn't happening right now, and we don't need those shenanigans. Now, instead, we're gonna make in our Instant Pot a shrimp boil so delicious, so easy, and so unbelievably satisfying you're gonna swear you were sitting on the banks of Maine. Are there banks in Maine, or is it is it a bay, or is it a shore? You're gonna feel like you were in Maine. Meet your cast of characters. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take the chicken broth. It's one cup, and I use better than bouillon, one teaspoon mixed with a cup of water. And I'm just gonna pour it right into the pot, just like that. Then I'm gonna add some of Zatarin's shrimp and crab oil, just like a, like a little amount, like that much. Just, just like so, that's it. A tablespoon of Old Bay. A tablespoon of crushed red pepper flakes. Oops, Oops, I mean that was a teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes. A tablespoon might make it a little too spicy. Do a teaspoon. A half a teaspoon of salt. A little bit of uh, some coarse ground pepper. You can, you know, grind some in if you want to. Just a little bit like that. I'm going to just give it all a little stir for a second here, just make sure everything gets nice and incorporated, because this is our base right here. I'm going to add a whole Vidalia or sweet onion that I just cut into big chunks like this, and just lay it on top over the liquid just like that. I'm going to add three tablespoons of crushed garlic in there. Six pieces of frozen corn on the cob. They're all, you see, it's cut into, um... Have, so it's six pieces I'm gonna lay on top just like so alrighty alrighty a sausage of your choice I'm using chicken jalapeno but typically andouille is a popular one for this but I'm trying to go a little healthy so I'm gonna put this chicken jalapeno sausage also make sure the sausage that you buy when it's store-bought it should say that it's pre-cooked on the wrapper when it's inside uh, you don't want to put like a raw sausage in there it should be cold but pre-cooked sausage. And finally we want two pounds of frozen, make sure it's frozen, de-veined with the shell on shrimp. And there we have it. It's going right to the brim of this six quart instant pot. Get the lid, put it on there, and we're gonna put this to sealing position. And uh, we want to put this actually on for, believe it or not, Zero minutes! That's what I'm told. Zero minutes. It's going to take a while for it to come to pressure, so in all that time it's actually going to cook. Plus, you don't want shrimp to become too rubbery, uh, so that's exactly the perfect time for it. Uh, so let's check back when this is finished. I'm so excited to try it! While my little friend over here is doing his job, uh, one more thing to note. Uh, it calls for also typically potatoes, like baby potatoes, about a pound worth that are, you know, it's basically like cut into like cubes or um, little wedges of potato. Um, I'm not putting them in because for obvious reasons I'm trying to slim down some. I don't know how you'd fit it in there. That just fits to the brim without the potatoes, but apparently it calls for potatoes as well. Maybe you need a larger, like an eight quart pot for that. Um, but I don't know. I'm not putting it in mine, but many people like it in there, so that's an option that I am not going to take. All right, guys, and we're done. Let's take this lid off. Oh, ho, ho, yeah! Who needs endless shrimp? Endless shrimp right here. So I will say, this is going to take you about 35 minutes, so don't fret about it. I mean, this is pretty much, pretty much as long as it would take, maybe a little less time, actually, than doing an actual shrimp oil. But the flavor is going to be so much better because of the way it's cooking. Trust me on this. So don't freak out. Like, oh, it's not coming to pressure yet. It will. And even if it doesn't, if it turns itself off and just goes on to low, it's ready. Just open it. It's fine. And there we go, guys. Transfer it to a nice, gigantic serving bowl worth. Let's see how simple the shrimp peels, okay? Okay, so here's a shrimp, and watch this. Here's the skin. Comes right off, just like that. And little tail, I actually like to hold on to it. And... <laughs> the shrimp is cooked perfectly. The flavor, I can't even describe it to you, but um... <laughs> Let me just say that I'm gonna get every single piece of meat out of this little tail. That's how good this is. You're in for a real treat this time. Enjoy. And also guys, sometimes this dish can have a tendency to be very spicy. So that, that red pepper flake thing, you don't have to add any if you don't really like it too spicy, or you could add more if you want it super spicy. The way it is right now, it'll definitely make your lips tingle as it is. So that's up to you how you'd like to do that.